Hi there, I'm Rex King. Welcome back to another episode where I review films currently in theaters. Today, we are talking Black Adam. Black Adam is the latest DC comic book film and stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Black Adam, a being who is from ancient times of a civilization that's a fictional city and he was a slave who became a champion via magical powers and he is revived in modern times to take up his mantle once again. This film was really hyped. Like, I remember when it was announced that Dwayne The Rock Johnson was cast as Black Adam. I was in high school. That was a while ago. So I was not expecting terribly much out of this movie. I thought it had actually been shelved until I saw a trailer for it. And I'm glad it wasn't because I actually enjoyed this one. Yeah, so real quick. Uh, the story here is kind of interesting. So the story follows, again, Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Black Adam. But it also follows a group of superheroes called the Justice Society of America, which has Dr. Fate, Hawkman, Adam Smasher, another character whose name I can't remember, but pretty much they're um, a group of superheroes who are sent in to try to stop Black Adam. And um, at times the movie does focus on them a little more than Black Adam's character. And that's a little bit of a problem for me. But, when we do focus on Black Adam interacting with the JSA, they have great chemistry. And their interactions and back and forth work. So, I can't say take the JSA out of it, but I do wish we didn't focus on them as much. It's really hard to find a happy medium of a movie like this. This movie did try to do a little too much at times. That being said... When Black Adam is on screen just massacring people and dealing with the Justice Society, the movie is good. When the movie tries to incorporate its villain, the movie is bad. More on that in a little bit. Uh, so, the characters of this film all get a decent amount of time to shine. Don't get me wrong, there are certain characters that this movie could do without, like Adam Smasher and the other JSA member whose name I cannot remember. And honestly, if it was just Hawkman and Dr. Fate going up against Black Adam, I think that would have worked just fine. The other two don't really do much or add anything to the film. Taking them out wouldn't have necessarily been a detriment to the movie. It actually might have improved it. So I'm not really sure why they didn't just do well that. But when they are the other two are on screen, they're not bad characters either. They're decently well developed and they have decent chemistry. And then we have the villain. Oh dear lord, the villain. Yeah, to be honest, um the bad guy's not shown much in the trailer so I don't want to go into too much depth about him but he's just a dude who wants to raise an evil army of demons nothing more I know that sounds like a lot but he doesn't get much development we don't really care about him and he becomes a CGI monster at the end which I guess it might be a slight spoiler, but to be honest, you know how these superhero movies go at this point. If you've been around long enough, they always end in a CGI slugfest, even when they don't need to. Mind you, this movie kind of needed to because of all the magic involved, but still. Ah, oh boy. I can't get a movie without a CGI slugfest. That's sad. But the performances are all fantastic. All the actors are doing a great job here. And I really enjoyed um, The Rock as this interpretation of Black Adam. I know some people will be a little mad that it didn't go darker with the role, but to be honest, when it was cast as The Rock, you, you knew what we were getting. 
And the other actors all do a great job with their respective characters as well. I really enjoyed Pierce Brosnan as Dr. Fate. He could have probably had his own movie, but what we got with him in this film is pretty good. Then we have the score, which was really epic at times. I really enjoyed a lot of pieces of the score, especially the themes for their respective team and Black Adam himself. It does get a little repetitive at times, but that's kind of to be expected from a two and a half hour film. And I, I really did enjoy the score for what it was. The visuals were all okay, nothing really to speak of here. The CGI was noticeable at times, but nothing that was too outrageous that it was terrible. At the end of the day, I really thought this film was enjoyable. I laughed at several instances. I thought the JSA and Black Adam had great banter and great interactions. I really enjoyed this film. At the end of the day, I give this film a 6 out of 10. If you are looking for a movie that's a superhero film that stars The Rock, you'll get it here. If you are looking for a serious, dark take on a superhero tale, you won't get that, unfortunately. But... Again, what were you expecting with a movie cast with the star being The Rock? I mean, you get what you pay for. And what I paid for was a superhero film starring The Rock, kicking all sorts of ass. And that's what he does. And that's what I enjoyed. Anyway, that's what I thought about Black Adam. What did you think about it? If you've seen it, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time.